Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a kind of late December favorite, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, first of all, I have two things for my hair. Hair things in my favorite videos are pretty rare because I don't fall in love with a lot of hair stuff, but I really fell in love with this Bumble and Bumble set. Um, this is the BB Straight Blow Dry and it's just a cream. I like the creams that come with the, um, like the caps that are the dispensers themselves. I think it's really like nice and easy to use. Um, and then this is the BB Thickening Hairspray. So all I do is when my hair is wet, I use this on my roots and then this on the length of my hair and it really does help make it more straight and um, it lets me uh, dry and straighten my hair a lot quicker than normal. So I totally recommend this and it comes in a set. So and it's $35 so you save a lot of money because they're full size products. So they also sell a mini um, that they usually have in the beauty to go in Sephora. So if you're just like inter interested in trying it, I would definitely recommend them. Um, next for skincare, I have been having a lot of breakouts and then when I use treatments for my breakouts, I end up um, getting really dry skin in um, like my chin and like mouth area. So like this entire section, it gets so dry to the point of like the skin peels off and it is so hard to put makeup on top of it because it just looks really gross and flaky. So I had to invest in some new products, but I'm really liking them so far. Both of them are, both of them are from Mario Badescu. I got them at Ulta. This is the Keratoplast Cream Soap. Um, it's just like a really pale, like blue green, um, I'm sorry that you can't see it because of the glare, uh, soap. And I think it was like 10 or $12, which I thought was a deal compared to like my Peter Thomas Roth um, face wash that I've been using. And then um, also from Mario Badescu, the buffering lotion. Now the soap I got specifically because of the dryness and flakiness that I was having. Um, I really like the way that they have their skincare line organized. It's so easy to navigate. Uh, it's all like, um, there's like these little codes. So combination, dry, sensitive, oily, acne prone. All of the skin types just have like um, a color code and the letter so that you know exactly what's gonna work for you. Um, so I started off with this. I got them on separate visits to Ulta. Really, really helped my dry skin. And then I realized that the acne I was getting was like cystic acne. And so I picked this up, which is their buffering lotion. It is, if you can see, and you're not gonna be able to see, it's like clear on top and then white on bottom. You mix it up and it's so liquidy. And you have to be really strategic about getting it um, on your hands and then onto your face. I find that when I use a Q-tip, it just sucks it all up. Um, and I put it on at night. It says every other night. To be completely honest, I've been using it every night since I got it. And um, it has helped dry it up. Now, with the dryness, I am like using this to make sure I don't get too dry again. But it's helped a lot, and I, I'm really liking it so far. I wish I would have started using this when I first started breaking out, so I like this little duo. Um, next, I have the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer, and um, I have been in love with the number seven Beautifully Matte Primer for so long. It is the most mattifying primer that I've used ever. And the only thing that I um, don't like about it is that sometimes it's too drying so that if for some reason I don't blend over a spot that the primer's on, you can see like a dry patch um, on my skin. So this is kind of the best of both worlds. It is super mattifying like the number seven beautifully matte, um, but it feels more like a lotion instead of like the thickness of the number seven. And so it doesn't leave that same like dry patchiness. So I am really, really liking this. This might be my new favorite instead of the number seven, but I don't know, I'm still trying to like go back and forth and try them on different days with different foundations to figure it out. But I really, really have been liking this. And then to go along with the primer, I have two of the Stay Matte foundations. I have it in 203 True Beige and 300 Sand. Um, 203 is a little bit light and then 300, I would say it's just like a tad dark. Um, so I haven't mixed them yet. I've tried them on different days, uh, but I really like the formula. It reminds me a lot of the Revlon Color Stay Whipped without it being so, so heavy. Color Stay Whipped, I loved it, but it is pretty heavy. 
Um, this one gives you a very similar amount of coverage. It's like medium to full coverage, but it's not as like heavy on your skin. You don't feel it the same way. And it's also like $5. Each one is five. So I totally, totally recommend it. Um, next is the Tarte Off The Cuff Palette. This might have been in my last favorites video. I don't care. It is so good. Um, I'm really sorry that you can't find it anymore, but it would be a lie if I didn't put this in my December favorites. Like I already have a dent in the bronzer, so really, really like it. Um, another palette that I'm in love with is the Naked 3. Really just so good. I know that it's sold out like everywhere. Get it online. You won't regret it. Uh, it's what I have on now. Uh, next is the Benefit Rockateur, and it's just a gorgeous rose gold blush. Um, I've heard some people say like, oh, it's like best for really uh, pale skin tones. I completely disagree. I think anyone can wear it. I love it. It's so beautiful and it smells really nice. Like candy, like sweet tart kind of. Uh, next is the blush Daydream by NARS and it's actually kind of similar, just more pink. Um, to me, it's like a mix between, uh, what is it, Torrid and... Is it Lovejoy? Not Lovejoy. I can't remember. But it's kind of like Torrid. And then the other color that's like a less glittery version of um, Orgasm. And I really, really love it. It just blends on really nicely. Uh, another thing that I've been loving that's new is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Honestly, it's so similar to the Professional. Um, but I always thought the Professional was just way too expensive for what it was. This I like, I was putting it over like the dry flaky areas that I had because it's so smooth. Um, I don't want to put anything that's too mattifying over really dry skin that just didn't uh, accentuate it. So I like that for those spots and I think it does the job and for less than $10 you can't beat it. I've also been loving for my face the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Concealer. I love that you get two different colors that you get to customize. Um, uh, so that you can cover on your face, duh. It's a much drier consistency than most uh, concealers that are available. So uh, it's especially good for oily skin because it has like a powder kind of finish. So really recommend that for anyone who wants to have the perfect color, no doubt about it, and has oily skin. Another concealer is the L'Oreal True Match. I really, really love this concealer. I'm sure I've mentioned it before, but it's so good. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the MAC Pro Finish, which I um, have right over here, and is also absolutely fantastic. It's what I have on now, and it's really good. They're so similar. I mean, I think the MAC is a little bit better, but if you don't want to spend the money, I would go with the L'Oreal. And the L'Oreal True Match has um, a good color range also, so you know it's not like you're missing out. Um, next is the Bare Minerals Lash Domination Volumizing Mascara. Honestly, I do not like the wand on this. It's so weird. There are these like big gaps, but the first time I wore it, I had several people ask me if I was wearing fake lashes. So, you know, you, you gotta go with it. Um, so I really do like it. I don't have it on today, uh, but the effect that it gives is pretty amazing. So I recommend that. Um, a mascara that I've been loving and that I loved a lot and if I wasn't wearing lash domination in December I was wearing benefit that are real and pretty often uh, when I'm wearing this I also get asked if I have um, fake lashes on so next I have two products from Mac that are new um, first one I've been wanting for a while but I wasn't really like sure about it but um, I watched what would Lizzie do uh, she did a video about like how to contour and highlight like a Mac Pro or something like that and it was very good and informative and I ended up getting two products from the video and it's the Prep and Prime highlighter in Light Boost and then the Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Quite Natural and they really do an amazing job. I actually, I'm, I don't have it on as my um, contour today because I wanted to use products from my 2013 favorites because that's what I'll be filming next but I have it on on my brows just because I really wanted to try to see if it would work on my brows and I like the effect that I got so it's really um, diverse product especially because it's for your eyelids so yeah it's worth the money because you can use it in so many different ways 
And then um, the Prep and Prime Light Boost, amazing. I do it when I'm completely done with all of my makeup and then I touch up my blush and highlight if I need to. And I just go like this V right here. I don't have it on today again because I was trying to do like things that I've been using in 2013, like the entire year. So, but I, I've really been in love with this and I'm, it'll probably be in my next favorites because it's that good. Um, for foundation this month, I've been using the Smashbox uh, Studio Skin in 2.4, but I've shown that before. Uh, but a new one that I've tried and really like is the Bobbi Brown Longwear in Warm Natural. I just have a sample of it that I've been working out of, and I'm really impressed. I do like it. I've been wanting to try more Bobbi Brown products for a while, so I, I really like that one, especially because I have such oily skin, and it stays a really long time on me. And the color match is really good so definitely impressed and then my beauty blender it's dirty right now i'm sorry but i have been using this thing non-stop um what i've been doing more often than not is putting my foundation on with my hands um like smudging it around as much as i can blending it in and then to even it out i use the beauty blender i feel like it gives a really natural finish um and it looks less cakey that way so i've really been liking that and then for my grand finale, the two products that I think are like must have, um, these two right here. Oddly enough, this one is discontinued, but you can still you can still get it in the sales section of some Sephora's. And if it's not out, you can always ask and see if they have some extras in the back or something. Um, this is the Sephora Professional Brush in number 59. It's the natural domed powder. These are the old ones that are silver. The new pro brushes are black with the silver ferrule. Um, I love this brush. It's so soft. I just like it applies so nicely. I mean, I, it's really similar, honestly, to the Real Techniques blush brush. Um, but I, I really love this. I haven't used it for blush, but I'm sure you could. Um, I use it with the NARS um, light reflecting setting powder uh, in translucent crystal. There's only one and it's the loose one I did not get the pressed one I heard so many complaints about people having to like scratch the surface of it to like get the powder to come out Which is such a waste of money to me. I would never do that um, And the loose one is amazing I just realized that when I'm using my pressed powders like the SA Lauder double matte, which I totally love um, It's so cakey on my skin after a few hours at first. It's like perfect but as the day goes on, my foundation and my powder, it's so heavy. There's so much product that it looks worse for the wear. This, it's so light. Um, I, do I have it on today? Yeah, I do have it on today. Um, it's so light on my skin and it doesn't like build up. It wears so nicely. So um, even though it's light reflecting and I have oily skin, I don't find that it makes me look any more oily than any other powder that I've ever loved. So recommend this for anyone and this brush or a brush like it to apply it. And I just, I press it into my skin. I don't rub. Um, yeah. So this out of all of my favorites, it's my number one favorite. You have to have it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and have a fantastic day. Bye.